for our second cook with me video, we are going to be making frozen yogurt with berries. It would be perfect for breakfast. You will need some water, a teaspoon of sugar, a tablespoon of berries, fresh or frozen, a container, a spoon, a fork, and some yogurt. We are going to start off with our berries. To prepare our berries, we need to squish them up. You can use fresh or frozen berries. I used frozen ones and put them in the microwave for about a minute. If you have frozen berries, you might have some extra liquid like me, but don't worry, we will just leave some of that out at the end. Take your teaspoon of sugar and add it to your squished up berries and give it a little stir. And once your sugar is all mixed in, take your water and put a little splash in. I would say a tablespoon would be good. Mix it all together and your berries are ready. Don't worry about spills, you can always clean those up. Now it's time to add the yogurt. I'm using coconut milk yogurt because this recipe works with dairy and non-dairy yogurt. This is where you will decide how big your frozen yogurt is going to be. Half of this cup is big enough for me, but if you were really hungry, you could fill it all the way to the top. This is how full that I made my popsicle. After our yogurt, we're going to add our berries on top. And like I said, my frozen berries were very watery. So if you have frozen berries like me, you might want to leave some of the juice in the container. Now use your fork and gently push some of your berries to the bottom of the yogurt. This is going to give your frozen yogurt popsicle a really cool swirly look. You can see it going down the sides of my cup. Once you're done mixing, take that spoon you were using earlier and plop it right in the middle. This is going to turn into the stick of your frozen yogurt popsicle. Pretty cool, right? Now it's time to put that yogurt in the freezer and wait for a couple of hours. Don't forget to clean up your mess too. Pop that in the freezer. And then when you come back in a few hours or maybe the morning after you make it, you'll find it's totally frozen. You can flip it upside down and it won't even fall out. A trick to getting your popsicle out is to run it under some warm water and it will loosen it up a little bit. And once you gently pull on the spoon and give it a little twist, it will pop right out. Look how yummy that is. It's all swirly from how I push the blueberries down, but there's also still some yummy plain yogurty parts. I'd love to see you guys making this recipe in your kitchen. If you do try it, please send us some pictures so we can see. Have a great time, guys. Bye!